folks, I am back. But today, it's not a shooting video, it's actually a review of the FX Radar Crony. Right, so I've had this Crony now for just over a year, so I'm not gonna show you an unboxing movie. I'm just gonna show you guys what I like, what I don't like, and obviously what is the most effective setup that I found that worked on this FX Crony. Um, some of the highlights in here, some of the lowlights as well, and basically, is it worth the money? Okay, so first and foremost, quite easy to install. That's the first thing. So there's a couple of ways to install this. And what I found probably one of the easiest, and some of the guys have got very fancy equipment and fancy gadgets and rigmaroles, is two rubber bands. That is probably the fastest way to actually hook it onto the barrel. And I usually take a couple of swigs at this. And there we go. Crony is attached. Now, you might think, wow, it's like a flubby. Don't worry about it. That you can tighten this if you want to. But the first mistake I made is this side needs to show to the shooter. This side that's got no printing on, that needs to go to the target. All right, if you don't do that, it's not going to work. Okay, so let's try this again. It doesn't matter that it's slightly flabby like that. You can tighten it, obviously, just as you want. And there, it's fitted, nice and easy. What I would suggest is about an inch from the front of the silencer, not all the way back. But just keep in mind a couple of things when you use this configuration as I've got now. This little baby doesn't weigh a lot, but it does weigh some. As you can see, there's some play on the barrel. The moment you attach this, there is an actual point of impact shift that's going to happen. So two things happen when you add this to the barrel. The first one, point of impact shift should be a little bit lower. And the second thing is it actually affects the harmonics. So the moment you play around with the harmonics, you actually play around with the accuracy of your gun, specifically with slugs. So what I then did is I got some very, very fancy equipment in to solve that problem. It's called a carton box. All right, so what I do is quite easy. And there's my new setup. So I can now lift the gun and I can shoot over the crony and I can move my gun a little bit forward and backward. The one thing that you need to be very conscious of is that if I drop my gun now, it's off the table. So you need an actual long enough table for the setup to work. All right, look at that. I've got no nose, no nose. <laughs> All right. For those guys that can lip read, I'll talk like that. Okay, so this I found to be the most, or the best, or the, how can I say, yeah, the best way to actually mount your crony is not to mount it at all. So this is the way that I do my shooting currently. If I wanna do harmonic tuning, whatever, I make sure that nothing else touches the barrel except the moderator that's in front of the gun at, at that stage. So there's a couple things that you need to know. First and foremost, you need a smartphone to go with the app because it's Bluetooth connected. To connect it is extremely simple and there's lots of videos on there that are going to show you exactly how to do this and how to connect it at the end of the day. Okay, there's a couple of features that I actually love about this Crony. Okay, one of those are the fact that the moment you switch it on, you've got a simple connect button. And there it is connected. That's how fast it is. All right, so once your phone is set up, that is quite easy. Then, very important, make sure that your settings on the Crony itself fits your shooting discipline. What I've realized is, is that um, although the Crony is extremely accurate, there is though a difference if you shoot 8.4 grains versus 26 grains on how it measures the projectile. There's also a tolerance level that you need to adjust the, the one that works the best is around about a 20% tolerance level. Then you get the most accurate reading on the crony, as well as you don't get too many missed shots. Now I've shot probably three, four, five thousand shots over the crony. And up until now, I've got a reading accuracy of around about 97, 98%. In other words, out of every hundred shots I shoot, three of them is not recorded. Sometimes two. All right. So you will have the odd 
shot over a crony that doesn't compute the exact same will happen with any crony in the world unless you want to go for those very very expensive seven thousand dollar type cronies and even then you can have a boo-boo at the end of the day okay so a couple of things that i love about this uh, crony is the fact that you've got a massive massive shot count okay so you can actually have a shot string that is quite long you can have this read out to you so you know exactly what the speed is you don't have to look at the gun all controlled on the volume of your phone as well and then last little pointer here is to have fun on the last ft shoot we had i actually cronied the guys while they were sitting shooting in their guns and that is the nice thing about this crony it is mobile totally totally mobile so you don't have to have a tripod to uh, test your gun you can move around you can even test your gun in the felt if you are out there hunting whatever and your gun does funny stuff quite easy all i do is i take one shot hold it next to the barrel like that make sure that i've got the front side um, at the target where i'm shooting and bob's your uncle so the nice thing is if you attach it to the barrel you the side of the radar automatically points to the target and that's why the manufacturer recommends that you need to actually attach it to the barrel so the moment you've got something that's not attached to the barrel you need to make sure that your radar isn't off target or at the side angle like that try and aim it right at the target okay so a couple of things in this if i can quickly surmise this whole scenario very very lightweight easy to operate even a fool like me can put it on my phone very mobile very light you can carry it anywhere any place anytime but there's two things that i don't like the first thing is attachment to the barrel affects harmonics as well as the weight of the barrel so second thing is if you've got a point of impact shift if you connect it to the barrel itself so if you want to get a reading of the gun by all means but do not zero your gun with the radar attached you'll get a different point of impact the one thing that i absolutely hate about this radar and it's only one thing is the fact that this thing is batteries faster than a vibrator ah, sorry i'm not supposed to say that this thing is not light on batteries all right it takes a couple of batteries you need an actual screw driver to replace it so whenever i go out for testing whatever i make sure that i've got an extra spare set of batteries and ladies and gentlemen that's the long and the short of it price wise not too shabby all right so it's a little bit more expensive than your pro chronos and those alpha beta chronos that you've got and a couple of others is this as accurate as those other cronies i think so i've tested them i looked at some of the other cronies the, those were the fancy little mcgafters or whatever and with all due respect i prefer my fx crony in that regard if i look at price it is more expensive than the pro chronos uh, roughly about 30 40 50 percent more expensive is it value for money hell yes i've since i've been using this i've been totally happy i've even been able to do a screen record of my speeds as i shoot with the crony as well and from a youtuber perspective that just makes life so much easier i don't have to carry a tripod with an extensive stand or whatever in that scenario i can use it wherever i want to if i want a quick measurement whoops there's my quick measurement no, wrong side front there's my quick measurement and i can go on and hunt and shoot as i want the one thing i don't like is obviously if you've got a very short bench to shoot off you need extra space in front to actually put this on boxes or whatever you use for your cronies purpose so this the box trick works exceptionally well if you're sitting off a bench and shooting and if you're out in the field quite easy there's your measurement right there and then not too shabby all right so from my side this is Gert from aim small please like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one just by the way look at my new scope hopefully i'll be able to give you guys some scope footage in the near future i've got my brackets on for my side shot already i just need to align everything and i'm, I'm ready to give you guys some hunting videos as well coming up Watch this space. I'll see you soon. That's all, folks.